Hi, my name is Anna Rondo. My name is Julissa Carrasco. And we are from Viewpoint Christian Academy, Selfridge, Massachusetts. And today we'll be presenting to you a video podcast called Don't Wait to Choose the Savior. Welcome to the Cousin Duo Podcast. I'm Anna. And I'm Julie. Today, we're going to be talking about two extraordinary women in the Bible named Mary and Martha. They were the sisters of Lazarus and were very close friends to Jesus. Julie's going to be reading something that's going to explain a little bit more of what we're talking about. The Bible story of Mary and Martha comes from chapter 10 of the Gospel of Luke. Mary and Martha, who are sisters, opened up their home to Jesus as he traveled with his disciples. As Martha hurries to ensure the preparation, Mary simply sits at the feet of Jesus and listens to the wisdom of Christ. Mary and Martha are two sisters with incredibly different focuses. While Mary soaks in the moments with Jesus, Martha can't think past the cooking and cleaning. Martha quickly becomes frustrated with all the work she is doing it she is doing alone and complains to Jesus, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Jesus replied, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. And I'm going to leave you with this question. If Jesus was in front of you, would your first thought to be, making everything perfect or would you stop to spend time with your savior Mm. what is your mind's attention on what we give our minds attention to our heart affection goes to it so we need to be careful of what we give our minds full attention to mary prized the time she spent with jesus sometimes we get all cut up with the distraction of this world sometimes instead of our prayer time We like to go spend time with our friends. We like to go play outside. And sometimes we need to be put our foot down and we need to stand up for the truth of God. It's that's what the devil has come to do, distract us and to take away the time that we can spend with God. And sometimes in our daily life, we get quickly frustrated because we don't take time out to spend with God. Mm. So why why should we put Jesus first? Because there's benefits that come with it. Mm. First of all, you get an everlasting life with God, an everlasting peace, everlasting joy, every la- everlasting love, and you get to worship the one who reigns. You get to worship the one who sits most high. And I want to ask Anna, um, why do you put Jesus first? What has God done to you that you like to put him first? Mm. So there was actually a period of time in my life where I didn't really focus on reading the Bible and praying like I thought well I go to church all the time like I'm in this Christian home I know Jesus and I and I still treat him like my best friend I don't really need to read the Bible like it and I when I did read the Bible because I felt like I had to it wasn't as a time to spend with Jesus it was just checking something off to do for on my to-do list so I just kind of left it off and felt like I'm good and life was fine but there was like this void in my life that I couldn't seem to fill and I couldn't understand what it was and it wasn't until I went to church one Sunday morning and the pastor actually preached about priorities. He preached that if you don't put Jesus first there will be frustrations in life and I've learned that just because you that reading the Bible and praying is beneficial. It brings, like what Julie says, it brings peace to your life. It it, it draws you closer to God. And that is such a reward, to be close to God and to have that personal relationship with Him. Now I try to read my Bible every day and I try to pray daily to God. And I feel peace every time because I'm talking to the Savior. And I think one of the things we struggle with is that we feel like we don't know what to say when we're talking to God. We don't know how to respond or reply because he's the God Almighty. Just come as you are. He wants Just us. You we're having a conversation right. with you guys, with each other. It's the 
same way God wants you to come to Him. God wants to know, even though He knows, even though we say that He knows everything, God wants you to tell Him personally how you feel, how how your day went, how because He, God, God wants us to come as we are. Sometimes it's gonna be hard. Sometimes we can be like Martha. Sometimes we want to make everything perfect, and I know I struggle with that. Sometimes I want to make everything perfect, and so and. If we just can be like Mary, just forget about everything. Put everything, the distractions, anything that's holding you back for us for one minute. And I think now let's not assume in the story that Martha was the bad guy. I mean, like, someone had to cook the food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what the problem was that Martha, but she was condemning Mary for spending time with Jesus. She was so concerned with her own problems that she didn't realize that actually Jesus is in the room and that he wants Martha to come and spend time with him. And I think that's what like what we struggle with in life. We want our lives, we're doing a bunch of good works just to be perfect for God. And like that's all good, but we have to make sure that we are spending time with Jesus because that is healthy in our Christian walk with God. And that's what Mary was doing. That's why Jesus blessed Mary because she chose Jesus because she spent time with Jesus. Jesus. She was awed by who Jesus was. Like Anna said, that we need to know what our priorities are. And because she didn't have her priorities straight, that's, that's why she right. was frustrated. God wants to know why you're frustrated. God wants to hear it, but we just... We, I'd rather say I got to eat. Sometimes, yes, stuff, certain things are holding us back, yes. But we just need to take that step of faith. We need to take that step of just letting it go. Everything that's holding us back, everything that's pulling, we let it go. And we just say, God, I lay it at your feet. Sometimes we are like Martha, and sometimes we don't realize it. And sometimes we think that, like, oh, well, I'm not good enough. God doesn't want to spend time with me or whatever. Like, you don't have to worry about that. God wants you. He, he doesn't care if your day was hard. He doesn't care if you're not good enough. He doesn't care if you, made a really, if you committed a really bad sin today. He doesn't care. He just wants you to spend time with Him, and He wants you to draw closer to Him. Because when we do, we won't feel as frustrated, and we will actually feel peace in His presence. That's why we need to choose the Savior. Today, we definitely encourage you to be more like Mary, to just listen to what God has. Today we want to say a prayer to encourage you to be more like Mary and ask God to give you the wisdom, the strength, the encouragement to take that step and be like Mary. Dear Lord, we pray that you will help us to have our priorities right and to choose you first. Lord, help us to be more like Mary and in the distraction and in the frustration, we leave it all behind and we seek your presence and we choose to be more like you and to seek you and to see like what you are, Lord. Be with those who are watching, help them to be encouraged to choose you and to choose to seek you. Be with us all, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. Don't wait to choose the Savior.